Yes, he was the one who finished runner-up to Tiger Woods in that memorable 2008 US Open 18-hole playoff. But Rocco Mediate is way more than that event most golf fans remember him for. Since making his professional debut way back in 1985, he has developed a lifestyle for himself that most people do not know about. So stay with us in this video as we take you through the lifestyle that is definitely not what you think of this PGA Tour veteran. How old were you in 1985? Or maybe you weren't even born. This was when the then 23-year-old Rocco made his professional debut. Do the math and you could tell he was born on December 17, 1962, more specifically in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Unlike most pro athletes who had an interest in their current trade from childhood, Rocco wasn't keen on golf during his childhood days. The son of a barber, Mediate attended Hempfield Area High School, and it was only then he began developing an interest in golf after playing baseball for most of his life. He grew up just a couple of miles away from one of the greatest golfers in history, the King Arnold Palmer's home in La Trobe. Having breathed the same air as an icon like the late Palmer, it was only a matter of time before Rocco fell in love with golf. He even got to play with Palmer when he was just 19 years old. If that isn't a trailblazer, then what is? After high school, he moved to Florida Southern College, where he began constructing his swing with the help of Champions Tour member Jim Faree. While in college, he played on the golf team with his close friend Lee Jansen, who has gone on to make a name for himself on the PGA Tour with multiple tour wins and two major championships. And together, they led Florida Southern to the 1985 Division II National Team Championship. He also had Florida Southern legend and GCAA Hall of Famer Charlie Matlock as his coach during his college days. Having made his debut by the age of 23, Rocco looked set for life. But one thing has given his career quite a lot of struggle, and that is his recurring back pains and injuries. Rocco Mediate is known as a poster boy, more of a poster man, for back problems in world golf today because he has had them since the very start of his pro golf career. This pain has plagued him even when he was at the highest level and form of his career. But if Rocco has shown anything, it's resilience to not give up and come back even stronger, and he has done this multiple times. His back pain resulted in him laying off mid-tournament in 1993 and undergoing major back surgery in 1999 after technically missing five full years of his career due to injury. All seemed to be well until the pain returned in even greater measure back in 2004, nearly ending his career this time. Rocco really can say he's been through it all when it comes to injuries and poor form seasons, with his 2017 year being an all-time low when he recorded just one top 10 finish tournament despite having 18 starts. His back pains have even had him change his style of playing to a more uncommon long putter early in his career, and he became the first player to win a PGA Tour event using a long putter in 1991 when he won the Doral Open Championship. From Doral Open win in 1991 to his total of six PGA wins, including his wins in 1999, 2000, and 2002 before returning to a conventional putter, Mediate's success in professional golf has spanned for decades, and hopefully we get to see many more of the former world number 12. Mediate also has four PGA Champions Tour wins and a senior major win at the 2016 Senior PGA Championship. More recently, Rocco unveiled a secret of dealing with his back pain after the 2021 Senior PGA Championship at Southern Hills Country Club in Oklahoma, where Mediate ended up playing 27 holes and was in contention yet again at the tournament's halfway mark after firing rounds of 68-69. He was three under overall after 36 holes and four shots behind leader Mike Weir. Mediate shared that he'd made positive lifestyle changes over the past few years. He also pointed to one method in particular that helped him succeed during the 2021 marathon events. He said, got myself in better shape over the last four or five years, dropped a whole bunch of weight, and I spent a lot of time on the Versa Climber, and that's what made the 27 holes not a big deal. The Versa Climber is a piece of gym equipment that engages both the arms and the legs in a climbing motion and has apparently helped improve Rocco's vertical stamina. He continued, I wasn't very tired, and I kept telling Murph that's why I climb. You have days like this. It's wet, windy, brutal golf course. If you get tired, it's going to be even worse. Thank you to Versa Climber for keeping Rocco going. It's difficult to talk about most modern day golfers without a reference to Tiger Woods. And although Mediate might not be so modern day himself, Tiger Woods' name is a must note due to Rocco having his biggest individual career face-off with Golf's GOAT. 
in what still is his best finish in a major championship, Mediate got a second place showing at the 2008 US Open at Torrey Pine South Course. He was tied with Woods at one under after regulation play and tied again through the 18-hole playoff. In what was only the third ever playoff in the US Open to go to sudden death, Woods finally bested him on the first hole of sudden death. Many still regard this game as Mediate's best ever, and why not? He did get a 111-spot gain in the world rankings just from that performance, going from 158th to 47th. We could bet you're wondering how much he has made in this unending illustrious career, and we've got you covered. Over the many years of his career, Mediate has garnered a whopping sum of over $16 million from his golf winnings alone. His total estimated net worth is $20 million, which is a surprise because the man likes to live a rather low-key life. But what can we say? A man likes what he likes. In 2018, he listed and eventually sold his mansion at an auction for over $3 million. The Tuscan-style two-story mansion was built by Rocco to his own taste in 2004, and he lived there with his family for over a decade. With the exquisite six bedrooms and luxurious furnishings, a freaking golf course, a swimming pool, and eight state-of-the-art bathrooms, it is fair to say Rocco has quite as good a taste for houses as he has for putting on the golf course. The lavish property sits on a corner lot with a view of the fairway, with a pond at the edge of the land expanse that gives the home some privacy from the golf course. The golf veteran's former home has a grand living room of a very dramatic double height overlooking the pool. The mansion also has two master suites, one on each floor. The one on the first floor opens out onto the backyard patio, which is currently blooming with hibiscus plants. Unfortunately, he had to sell the house though. Rocco got married to his first wife, Linda Newell Mediate, in 1988, and even had three children together, Marco, Nico, and Rocco. Don't know about you, but Italian heritage has never been more obvious than through these names. Of course, that makes our golf icon the Rocco Sr. However, Rocco, the six-time PGA Tour winner, not the kid, and Linda finally divorced in 2013 following a long separation that began in 2008. But before the divorce papers were finalized, Rocco was already seeing a beauty who is now known as Jessica Mediate. The pair met in 2008 through a mutual friend and were friends until around 2011 when the romance began to blossom between them. Come January of 2014, after finalizing his divorce, Jessica and Rocco walked down the aisle and blissfully tied the knot at a low-key event as expected in Hawaii. Jessica Summers, who would later become Jessica Mediate, was a sales worker in Phoenix, Arizona prior to her marriage with Rocco. And in 2015, the couple welcomed their first and only child to date, a beautiful baby girl named Francesca Rose Mediate. The couple likes to live a pretty quiet life with almost no social media activity. Mediate has opened up about his wife helping him during the time of need he likes to call physical failures in the golf swing. Speaking about how she helped him overcome some physical shortcomings and boost his confidence, Mediate said, I'm getting a little better. I experienced certain challenges, which are referred to as physical failures in the golf swing. I toyed around with a couple of things, but you know, Jess, my wife's like, you know, you've been doing this for three years on tour. Maybe you should trust your muscle memory. Do you have to tinker with things all the time? What a woman! Rocco really is lucky to have her. The golf veteran has a love for quality cigars and even has an endorsement deal from cigar brand Rocky Pater. Some of his other sponsorships and endorsement deals are mostly health-related due to the medical struggles he has faced in his career. Some of these companies include BioWave, Lumos Network Inc., and Nature's Bounty Company. No wonder he has a net worth of over $20 million! If you enjoyed this video about Rocco Mediate's lifestyle, check out the video on the screen now or the one we posted below because we're sure you'll like that one too.